This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. 34-meter motor yacht Siempre destroyed by fire. The striking 34-meter or 111-foot motor yacht Siempre X Ceylan was destroyed last night in a massive fire. She caught fire around 1.30 a.m. on the 6th of September in the port of Olbia in Sardinia. Two fire brigade teams attended the scene and neighboring yachts were forced to evacuate the area. Firefighting efforts lasted around three hours. With a statement from the Vili di Fuoco reporting, last night there has been an intervention by firemen in the port of Olbia, province of Sassari, for private vessel fire, with no fatalities reported. The area's safety procedures are being implemented with nautical and diving specialists coming from Porto Torres. The flames destroyed the entire yacht. Luckily, the four crew members had already abandoned the yacht and had no injuries. The yacht sank the following morning. Siempre was built in 2010 with naval architecture from Tansu and last refitted in 2018. As part of the refit, she had newly refurbished interiors and met RENA classification. She accommodated 12 guests in five cabins with a steel hull and aluminium superstructure. She had a top speed of 15 knots. Luxury yacht Miss Dunia total loss after blaze. The 25 meter or 80 foot luxury yacht Miss Dunia went up in flames at a New Bedford Marina in Massachusetts in the United States. Motor yacht Miss Dunia came from Florida and had been on Pope's Island for about three weeks. The first emergency call came just after 1700 hours on the 30th of August, reporting smoke coming from the boat. By the time fire crews arrived at the scene, a blaze had broken out below deck. The fire departments encountered heavy flames and smoke as the yacht was carrying approximately 500 gallons or 1,900 litres of fuel, so crews had to use water and foam to battle the blaze. Apparently a second alarm went out and multiple crews from surrounding communities including Fairhaven responded to assist the New Bedford Fire Department. The Coast Guard also responded to the scene. The yacht was owned by Fleet Marina owner Lars Vingerud II. Lars Vingerud and 14 other people were gathered on Miss Dunia for a dinner party when smoke began seeping from the walls of the yacht. It smelled like wires burning, Vingerud said Tuesday. We tried to look around, but it was in the walls. Smoke started coming out of the walls. We called 911 and everybody got off the boat. They had tried to determine the source of the smoke, but were forced away by the fumes. The smell was horrible, Vingerud said, toxic. Vingerud, who owns the yacht and the marina, could only watch as smoke became open flames, causing extensive damage. No injuries were reported, and the cause of the fire is under investigation. But the new Bedford fire chief, Scott Kruger, said investigators won't be able to determine what caused the fire until the boat is removed from the water. Once fiberglass melts down, it makes things very difficult to try and excavate and get a good point of origin for the fire, he said. Investigators are interviewing witnesses and examining the scene, he said. Vingerud said the yacht's charred hulk will be removed to a Fairhaven shipyard on Wednesday. But the vessel is likely beyond repair. It's done, he said. Monaco Yacht Show to go ahead with reduced number of yachts. The Monaco Yacht Show will go ahead this year after the show was cancelled in 2020 for some reason that I can't remember. This yacht show is usually the largest show in the industry. Although this year we will see a smaller show with only 80 super yachts starting at 22 and going up to 95 meters in length, including 32 new deliveries making their world debut. The largest vessel scheduled to be in attendance are the 80 meter new yacht Artifact from Nobis Krug, the 92 meter former Paul Allen yacht Tatouche, also by Nobis Krug, and the 95 meter Lursen Kismet. For more information on the show, visit monacoyachtshow.com where you can see a floor plan of all yachts that will be in attendance. Also, if you're wondering if I'll be there, the answer is yes, hopefully for the entire show. What do you think of all these super yacht fires? Let me know in the comments. If you have any yachting news, please get in touch and subscribe for updates.